Okay, everyone. So let's talk about what do you think section. I'm reading some of the answers. I can see here. Oh, I heard one of my friends. Sajid, I heard one of my friends. One of my, I had multiple. I heard one of them. I heard one of my friends. And soon I realized that I made a mistake. Very good. Uh, I started to go to the, to the STC Institute. And soon I will learn English. Okay. Instead of I started, it's better to say I am going. I'm going to STC and soon I will learn English. I'm going to I hope that I will learn to speak English soon. Okay. When I go far from my from my from home, my sister often cries. She can't help it. That's the sister in her. Okay, well, very well tried. I like the thing she says. <laughs> my sister and I are very close. Everybody says to me, you're wrong. But I say to him, prove me, you're right. I say to them, everybody says to me, you are wrong. But I say to them, I say to them, everybody. Everybody means not one person. No? However, everybody says, everybody, that's correct. Okay, everybody says it's correct. Everybody says to me, you are wrong. But I say to them, prove me you are right. I seem right. Yeah, Nicola and Gio. Gio, spelling of Gio. Have a good relationship. Because Gio teaches Nicola about his business. Nicola tells him about music. Hmm. They have a good relationship, right, everybody? The father and the daughter. They have a good relationship. How do you realize they have a good relationship? What tells you that they have a good relationship? Uh, Mapara is again absent. But her maximum you know, continuity is two days. Back to back. Two days a streak. <laughs> you know, when she is present in the class, I, I like her presence in the class. You know, her expressions, the way she reacts, these are all good things. But the problem is she's not very regular. Anyway, tell me what tells you that they are they are close and they, they like each other, they have a good relationship, the father and the daughter. Now, not, not talking about the similarities. I'm saying, how do you know that they have a good relation with each other? How do you know when somebody has a good relation? When they say good things about each other. The father says so many good things about her. Yeah, about the girl. And the girl says so many good things about her dad. And they also, when you like somebody, then you try to, try to talk about how you are similar. If you like me, then you will say, you know what, Vinesha also like this and I also like this. If you like me, you will try to talk about the similarities. And if you don't like somebody, you'd never try and talk about the similarities. Both the father and the daughter keep talking about how they are similar. Right. Turn on this fan for me. Yes, thank you. Okay, that two-way switch. Okay, yes, thank you now. So, think about this psychological point. The girl says, my father was very hardworking when I was growing up. He wanted to give me everything. He wanted to give my sister everything. What does it mean? That she likes her dad a lot. 
the dad says, oh, my daughter is very independent like me. Um, uh, she knows what she wants. So these are good things ab about each other, right? So from this, you can clearly say that they have a good relationship. That was the question. Do you think Gio and his daughter Nicola have a good relationship? Absolutely. In one sentence, Gio says, I'm very proud of my daughter. So when do you say I'm proud of my daughter? When you are when you have a good relationship. So these are the things. What do you think means? Aapki kya? And I think we all have the same opinion here. That they have a very good relationship. And we know this from the way they talk about each other. If you hear Rani talking about me, Vinesa thinks he's very smart, but he's not. Okay. You know, he always he's always overconfident. Then you know that she doesn't like me a lot. But if she says outside, oh, Vinesa is very nice. He always encourages his students. Whenever I feel nervous, he gives me confidence. Now you know she likes me. Got it? So similarly, if you listen to somebody's opinion about someone, or what they say about someone, it tells you what kind of relationship they have. So the girl says so many good things about her dad. How are they similar? Let's talk about how the father and the daughter are similar. Let's talk about the similarities between their personalities. How are they similar? They are both very passionate about their work. Very good. They are both very hardworking. Nicola practices seven hours a day. Yes. Uh, they are both very sentimental. They cry easily. Uh, the daughter cried in her first lesson. And uh, the father cries when he sees his daughter play the violin. So they are both very sentimental. Yeah. Come again. They are both independent. They made their own decisions. He chose his career in business. And she chose her career in music. Yes. They both have passion to succeed. They work hard to get success. <laughs> In that aspect, they are different, you know. The Gio is fully Italian, 100% Italian. She is half Italian, maybe. They are both independent, absolutely. And one thing that you guys didn't notice, uh, age 16 was very crucial in their lives, in both their lives. When he was 16, he saw the car and he changed his life. And when she was 16, she won the award. Okay. So age 16 was very important, crucial, crucial, important. Yeah. Age 16 was very crucial in both their lives. And they both got success early. They did not wait for success in life. They got success very, they were successful early in their lives. Some people have to wait a long time to be successful, like Nawazuddin Siddiqui, right? He did so many shitty films. Shitty. S-H-I-T-T-Y. Shitty. Okay. It means very bad. Crappy. Crappy. C-R-A-T-T-Y. Crappy. You remember studying good and bad adjectives? Excellent. Wonderful. Horrible. Awful. Now I'm teaching you two more. Crappy and shitty. These are colloquial words. Pe yes, please. People use them. Do we have extra chairs, guys? Do you have extra chairs there? No. So uh, these are colloquial words. You don't use them in the written in written English so much. You don't use them in exam so much in conversation. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, good. Lucky you. Coming late has a reward, huh? <laughs> Yeah, when you come late, you sit on the revolving chair. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Everybody will try to come late from tomorrow to sit on the revolving chair. Okay. Mm. As I was saying, uh, shitty and crappy. They come from the word shit. And shit means a very bad thing. You know, the waste material that comes out of your stomach in the morning in the toilet, that is called shit s-h-i-t 
Okay. Um, so that is the literal meaning. But something that is very bad, you say, it is shitty. A shitty film, it means you didn't like it at all. Crap means also the same. It's a synonym. So a crappy film means a film that you didn't like at all. So shitty spelling. S H I T T Y shitty and crappy. C R A double P Y. Have you already subscribed to my channel, all of you? All of you? Okay, good. Because I needed just two or three more people to reach thousand. Yeah, two more people to reach a thousand. Uh, Arham, is it you here messaging me? Yeah. <laughs> Look what his channel name is. His channel name is Arhami Blogs. Come here. <laughs> Go change it. <laughs> okay. So, I knew it was you. <laughs> I knew it was you. Okay. How no, how how closely I know my students. Uh, no? It means some of you just subscribe. Three of you just subscribe. Okay. So, you should have told me, you know, I would have made a... Yeah? Oh, with four IDs. Okay, just 1,001. Success. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. And... <laughs> you know, when does your channel get monetized? What are the criteria? I need 72 hours, watch hours more. 72, as it says. I've got 1,000, but 72 more watch hours according to one eligibility criteria. Another criteria says, I need 1,072 watch hours. I don't understand how uh, YouTube counts it. Because when I check, I see 4,000 4, watch hours this year. But it says only 2,938 watch hours last 365 days. It's strange. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I go here to last 365 days, it says 4,000 hours. 4,000 watch hours and still somehow, okay, never mind. It will happen when it is time, okay? So you guys have so many YouTube uh, accounts. Why? Oh, okay, okay. I mean, I had to make some extra Gmail accounts because for, for because of Zoom. First, I had Zoom with my regular ID. I had only one email ID first. But then I wanted new Zoom account. So I had to create a new Zoom, you know, Gmail ID. Yeah. It's a hassle. It's a hassle. It's a burden to take care of so many IDs. Okay. Um, as I said, we are just going to be involved in the conversation about the people. So... Let's talk about the differences between them. The father and the daughter have some differences too. How are they different? The father is a businessman. For him, money is pr probably the most important thing, right? But the girl, the daughter, is uh, not a businesswoman. She is an artist. And for an artist, money is not the most important thing. Success has a different meaning. Okay. And what else? Is there another difference? Uh, the daughter can play musical instruments. She is a you know, musician. But the father cannot play any musical instruments. Mm. 
yeah she likes and plays classical music but the father doesn't right anything else now about you how about you who are you close to in your family let's talk to each other a little bit uh, talk to each other about who you are close to in your family i am close to quite a few people in my family you see i'm close to my mother uh, i think we both have very similar personality my mother forgives people very easily that's i'm also like her you know i also forgive people very easily i don't carry a grudge carry a grudge some people when they're upset they remember it for a long time they carry a grudge you did something wrong they will not forgive you they will want to harm you take revenge i am not a very revengeful person so i forget uh, with time there are so many people i had fights with and today when i when they talk to me i talk to them normal like i don't even remember what happened so that kind of thing i'm not very revengeful easy word somebody who loves taking revenge is revengeful beautiful revengeful i'm not very i don't carry grudges i don't carry a grudge carry a to remember ah you did this to me some day i will take revenge that is carry a grudge uh remember andrew flintoff took off his t-shirt and did this in a cricket field andrew flintoff once you know defeated india and took off his t-shirt and did this and then later i think many months later saurav ganguly and his team defeated them in lords okay at lords ground and then he took off his t-shirt and did this so he remembered that so saurav ganguly carries a grudge <laughs> okay but in a positive way it's a good thing in sports you can do it in real life come on you don't want to take revenge from every person forget forg forget them and forgive them and move on all right uh afia writes ashfi writes in my family i'm close to my mother and my sisters because i feel comfortable to share my secrets with them ashfi which sister you have two sisters so who both sisters you're close to both of them okay that's lovely deepak says uh, he is close to all his family members because he's the youngest and uh, he's really close to his sister um but you have three sisters four so which sister you're talking about but you didn't mention it you only said a sister but we know you have four sisters so when you talk you need to be true to the reality so you should have said i'm close to my second sister uh, her name is xyz she's married now she's married and still she's very close to me that's lovely very good very nice everybody read your read your friends text group mein koi likhe to usko padhna chahiye इसीलिए ग्रुप बनाया ओके ये नहीं मुझे क्या मतलब उसने लिखा नहीं ऐसा नहीं यू मस्ट रीड एंड लर्न फ्रॉम फ्रॉम व्हाट द पर्सन राइट्स रानी राइट्स व्हेन माय फैमिली इज एंग्री विद आई ऑफन क्राई आई कांट हेल्प इट ये आई एंड माय सिस्टर वेरी क्लोज वेरी गुड वेरी नाइस रानी योर सिस्टर इज मैरिड बट योर वन सिस्टर इज मैरिड आई थिंक शी लिव्स इन रांची Where does she live? Badi, Pahadi, Bihar. Your married sister lives in Bihar, and your dear sister too. Oh, so in Ranchi you have a cousin. Oh, okay. Hmm. Afia writes, "I'm also close to my mother and my sister because I share everything." Wow, I'm very happy with the way you guys have written things. What are you writing? Very good, son. Very good. I'm very happy. I'll finish my homework by the end of the day. Wow. She had promised to be back. She had promised to be back by five o'clock. Be back. She had pr promised to be back. Vapas ane ka. I didn't want to hurt her, but I couldn't help it. 
it was awful, but I couldn't help it. Uh, I want to understand the situation. Your sentence, it was awful, but I couldn't help it. He promised to visit again soon. We will soon be making change. Okay. Your sentence are good, Apia. But I want to understand. It was awful, but I couldn't help it. What do you have in your mind? Okay, yes, Afia. What did, did this mean? It was awful, but I couldn't help it. What was going on in your mind? What is the situation? What is the line? What is the situation? What is the situation? What is the situation? What is the situation? याद रखना कोई सेंटेंस का कोई सेंटेंस मतलब नहीं होता है वो एक सिचुएशन में बोली हुई बात होती है ना योर फ्रेंड इज काम डाउन फर्स्ट यू आर गेटिंग नर्वस ओके काम डाउन आई एम नॉट गोना जज यू इवन इफ यू मेक मिस्टेक्स आई हेल्प यू डोंट वरी साहिल राइट Are you here, Sahil? He is not. Okay. Sahil sentences are very wrong. You know, there are lots of mistakes. You can see. Look at his last sentence. They both have passionate to sex. Passionate is an adjective, right? They both are passionate to get success, to succeed, to. This is Mushkil English. सक्सेस और सक्सेस कुछ लोगों को एक जैसा लगता है दोनों में बहुत बड़ा फर्क है एक नाउन है एक वर्ब है तो टू सक्सीड टू गेट सक्सेस असीम राइट्स आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू माय मॉम बिकॉज़ माय मॉम लव्ड मी एंड आई आल्सो लव हर Very good, everyone. Those who wrote and those who didn't write, I will encourage them. Please start writing. Don't be no, don't be nervous. At worst, you will make mistakes. You will make mistakes. It's all right. Um, Shams, you are not writing. Why? He wrote a lot of sentences I remember, and then you stopped. Don't stop. Continue your practice, okay? Mm. Ayat, who are you close to? Your sister, Af Alia, uh, you know, your sister, Inaya. Na? Very close you are, I know. You're close to your mom or you're close to your dad? You're close to your dad. Who are you close to? You're close to nobody. Come here. Camera mm. now. Yeah, everybody, this is Ayat. And she is 10 years old and she is not close to anybody in her family. Really, Bidwa? You're not close to anybody. Uh, but normally, family members are close to each other. Do you think Inaya is close to anyone in your family? Her mother, her father, you. Who is she close to? She's close to her mom, no? She's always like, Mommy, you're my favorite, right? And Mommy also loves her more. What about Papa? Papa likes you. Papa tries to compensate. Maybe you are your Papa's favorite. Don't you think so? No. And do you feel lonely at home sometimes? Like nobody loves you type feeling. Do you have that feeling sometimes? When I was young, I had that feeling, you know, because my mother, she loved my bhaiya more. And she beat me for a small, small thing. 
I thought I was not her son. I thought I was adopted. <laughs> so I felt very lonely at times. You don't feel lonely. That's good. That's nice. Nobody should feel lonely at all. But what about Nanu, Dadu? Are you not close to them? Both of them. But then you went to Rajgir with somebody. You know, then... Ah, oh, father's maternal uncle. Okay. Does he live with you guys? No. So, so who do you share your problems, your secrets with? If you have some thoughts. Guys, 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 cooperate with me. If you have some personal thoughts in your mind, you know, then who do you talk to? Do you write a diary where you write your personal thoughts? Do you sometimes, do you sometimes have those thoughts in your head? Some strange thoughts, some thoughts that you want to share with people. Never. Nothing comes to your mind that you want to share. That like, you know, okay, do you go to your mom and ask a lot of questions? Mommy, why is this thing this way? Why is that thing that way? Why do we do this? Do you ask these questions of your mom? And she answers? Uh-huh. So I think you are close to your mother, but you're not accepting it. Maybe you are. Think about it. I know you're not close to her because she keeps bothering you. She bothers you a lot, I know. She, this, this pretty, you know, <laughs> uh, pretty nuisance. <laughs> She's a pretty nuisance to you. She troubles you a lot, no? All the time. She troubles you all the time. Yes. You know, I think I'll tell your father that he should send her to hostel. Then you will live with your mom. You and your mom. She will live in hostel. That would be the perfect solution to the problem. I think. And in hostel, there will be some bad girls. They will take good care of her. What do you think? They will bother her the same way she bothers you. You know, they will not let her sleep. They will not let her drink her milk at night. They will, you know, bully her and everything. That will be a good lesson for her. What do you think? Wouldn't, be, wouldn't that be ideal? You know, you living with mom, you and mom, and she living in hostel. What do you think about that idea? Sounds good. Do you think I should tell your papa to send her to hostel? Would that be nice? Actually, you know, she is a grown-up girl. She may be 10 years old, but she is not like a kid. Her mind is all developed. And that's why these things don't entertain her. You know what I'm saying? For these things to entertain somebody, she has to be a kid. She's a grown-up, you know, sincere, mature person. You thought that I was joking, right? Yeah, you, she knew I was joking. She knew I was joking. All right, Pita, go sit. Inaya, come here. <laughs> All right. Come here, Inaya. So I have this plan of sending you to hostel. Uh, I am going to make this suggestion to your dad. Or she should go to hospital. What do you think? You know, both of you, when you live together, you quarrel a lot. So one of you should live in hostel. Who? One will, uh, Ayat will live in hostel. She is just charming. I told you enough. She knows what to say. <laughs> okay, why did she not say yes when I said, let's send an Ayat to hostel? But she said nothing. She kept quiet. Why? I think you know. She loves you. That's why she did not say yes to sending you to hostel. Right? You know this. If she hated you, she would say, yes, sir, send her to hostel. That would be the perfect plan, you know. Tell Papa. But she kept quiet. It means she knows that, nah, I don't want my sister in hostel. She wants you at home. Who are you? She wants you in hostel. <laughs> How quickly she copied my language. She wants me in hostel. See, right? It didn't take her any time to repeat what I said. Do you understand that? The words are familiar. Although she wants me in hostel for a grown-up person is a little tricky sentence. 
because you have already under, you know developed an understanding for hindi a different kind of understanding ha rigid habit and she wants me in hostel is a good sentence in english but she wants me in hostel if you translate it literally into hindi it doesn't make sense if you write this sentence or say this sentence in front of some teachers they will say ye kaun sa hindi english sentence she wants me in hostel it is wrong english it is perfect english but for somebody who just knows english right so beta you are very quick to learn you know you are very sharp and i'm very happy that you are here you were you were absent yesterday why i was missing you and today you got evidence proof that she loves you she doesn't want you in hostel she didn't say anything now you tell me who are you close to in your family your mom right you share everything with your mom all the problems and all your demands but papa will be a little unhappy to hear that that you are close to your mom papa will be a little sad inaya is not close to me how about that because we are recording it papa will see it tell me what will you say to papa if papa asks you inaya am i close to you what will you say you la you say no you you are ready ready to say no to papa oh my god she is very convinced she is very convinced so your mummy's daughter she is papa's daughter final separation right you got mummy she has got papa guys पटवारा हो गया है और ओके स्वीटर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग गो सेट और राइट गाइस टॉक टू इच अदर लिटिल बिट शेयर विद इच अदर हु आर यू क्लोज टू इन योर फैमिली एंड व्हाई ओके आई मीन देयर मस्ट बी सम सिमिलैरिटीज बिटवीन द पीपल यू लाइक लाइक आई सेड आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू माय मॉम इमोशनली वेरी क्लोज टू हर बट आई डोंट सब्सक्राइब टू हर वर्ल्ड व्यू हर वर्ल्ड व्यू इज डिफरेंट यू नो and uh, i'm i'm an an individual i have my own world view world view means duniya ko dekhne ka nazariya world view okay i have my own world view but i'm very close to my mom emotionally you know and uh, we don't really quarrel with each other a lot um sometimes we do argue and sometimes she gets really angry with me but i know she will not really carry it for long you know and i'm also close to my sister you know i think she knows that no matter what you know i will always be the same brother she knew me you know when before she was married sometimes what happens when you get married you have your own family then slowly and slowly there is distance i don't talk to my sister a lot but i think i think she knows that i have the same feelings for her that i had before she was married you know like i care about her the same i have only one sister by the way and um, i think i'm close to my wife as well and everybody is close to their wife normally you know and i'm close to my children my daughter my nephew uh my children love me a lot and i think that they, they are comfortable in front of me sharing anything with me i think they are but you never know because there is always this gap between the children and the parents you know but i think i'm close to almost everybody i and i i and my brother have very similar personalities although uh sometimes we differ in our world view you know but we have very similar personalities we both value the same things actually money is not the most important thing neither for me nor for my brother you know we both value you know prestige uh honesty and these things more because our parents taught us these things that's why now your turn to talk about who you are close to and why go ahead start your practice a little bit for 5 minutes talk to each other feel free okay don't take it as a task take it as a gossip topic okay topic for a conversation not a gossip literally uh, yeah go ahead everybody is done with their practice do you want to share anything with me any information about your partner you want to share with me any information about yourself okay why are you so afraid all the time why are you so nervous all the time i said do you want to share anything about your partner you said no nothing don't want to talk to you 
Why do you avoid me so much? Why do you ignore me so much? <laughs> yes. To his. To his, not her. To his. He only calls them when he needs money. Uh, when he buys products online so that they pay. Money. The youngest one. And when it is a big amount, then he calls his married sister because she has a cash card in her husband. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Yeah, this is what I wanted to ask you to do. Come on, share something. This is practice, Vita. This is practice. Without this phase, you cannot be fluent. You have to go through this phase. So, share something. He is close to his female best friend. Best friend? Best friend? Uh, best friend? Yuck. This is so bad. If that best friend has a boyfriend, then what will happen? <laughs> you, 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 you will sing sad songs. Bedar di se pyar ka sahara. All right. Uh, don't, don't make best friends, okay? Don't make best friends. That's bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, guys, more about your partner. Shams, who did you talk to? You talk to Husham. What did he tell you? He is very close to his brother. Hmm. He shares, no, he shares. Huh. No, that's not possible. You can't share everything with your brother. No, that's not possible. You, you, you share everything with your brother. Younger brother or older brother? Older brother. O older. Older brother. How much older? Two years? Three years? Two years. Then? Ten years older. Oh, he treats you like a kid. Right? Then you can share anything. That's right. But if your brother is two or three years older than you, distance. Don't know about me. <laughs> Keep a boundary around you so that he doesn't enter or she, anyone. So, I mean, sisters sometimes get close, but brothers are rarely close to each other. Brothers keep fighting with each other. They never talk about their girlfriend matters with their brothers. Never. Because they know whenever something goes wrong, they will go to papa, mommy, and they will tell everything. So it's not a very safe idea. Hmm. Okay, Sajid, who was your partner? Umar, what do you know about Umar? What did he tell you? Did he tell you something? He didn't tell you anything. He didn't tell you anything. Uh, you should have talked to somebody else then. Did you talk to someone else? No. Nasir, did you not talk to Nasir? Uh, you wasted your time. And then here, the brave. Oh... Uh, you should have used your time properly, nicely, smartly. Okay, Adnan Beta, who did you talk to? Ayat, what do you know? Who is she close to? Nobody. She said the same thing. But I don't believe her. How can a 10-year-old child not be close to either mommy or papa or anybody? How is it possible? Okay, Ayat, I have one last question. If you go on, uh, go away for one month, who will you miss most? Who will you miss? And who would you like to talk to on the phone? Mommy, Papa, you can only talk to one person. Okay? Only one person. For one month, two months, you're away. And you can only talk to one person. Who will you talk to? I think now we are going, get, going to get an answer. Ayati, you understand what I'm saying? 
you go away for two months, away from home, okay, to a new place. So, of course, you don't have your mummy with you, don't have papa with you, don't have chachu with you, you don't have your enemy inaya with you, you see? <laughs> so, the question is, if you get to talk to only one person, you can only talk to one person, who will you talk to on the phone? Or you wouldn't talk to anybody? Nobody. You will not call home. You will not talk to mom. You will not talk to dad. So, yeah, it's all right. I'm away for two months. Let me enjoy myself. Really? So, if your papa decides to put you in a hostel, are you going to be all right? You will be okay with that. You won't, you won't cry. Are you sure? If your papa decides to put you in a hostel, you'll be cool. Wow, you're a brave girl. You're a brave girl. I wouldn't. I would start crying if somebody mentions a you know, hostel in front of me. When I was your age, no, 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 no. I needed my family. So she's emotionally very strong. That's good. That's good. We need a, a strong children. Okay. How about you two? Tell us a little bit. You two talk to each other. Share something about him. What do you know about him? Close. He's close to his mom. Okay. Anything more? He, of course, when you are close, you share everything. And do they do things together? Do they watch movies together? Do they play games together? Do they watch TV together? Do they spend time together? What do they do? Did they? Did he tell you? You tell me now. What do you do with your mom? Do you spend time together watching TV? What kind of programs do you like watching together? You don't watch TV with her. Why are you close to your mom? Because she's a mom. <laughs> Most children are close to their mom because she is their mom. That's all. They don't need another reason. They don't need to have similarities. They don't need any other reason. You know, she's my mom. I'm close to her. Emotional bond. Very strong emotional bond. But I think your mom is your teacher as well. She teaches you. Does she punish you sometimes while she's teaching? Does she get angry? No? Sometimes? Yeah. And your papa? Are you not close to your papa? Not so much. Because your papa is busy with his friends. Am I right? He has a lot of friends, your papa, right? Yeah. And he is busy with his friends. Your mom doesn't have many friends. When she's at home, she's busy with you. You spend more time with your mother. This is typical. You know, a lot of fathers have friends and they are busy with their friends. But moms, they spend time with the children. So that's why children are emotionally connected to their... Mm, that's the reason. Okay. What about you, Rani? You talk to her or her? Who did you talk to? You talk to her. Is she close to? Who is she close to? Her mom. Okay. And why? Problem. And her, okay, okay. I have a very stupid question, but if you don't want to answer, you can ignore it. Suppose you like a boy, then can you go and tell your mom that I like a boy? Are you? Open to your mom like this? Nah, Indian daughters and moms are not that close that they'll talk about boys with each other. Respect. You respect your mom. You don't share such things. Do you, Ashvi? You can tell her. You like somebody. Really? You saw a handsome boy and you go... You're very friendly. You and your mom. That's great. Have you always been that way? Of course, of course. She's mom after all. She has the right to get angry when she's not... Suppose you're not doing the, your, your things right, you know, and then you talk about some boys, then of course she will get angry. She'll only laugh when you're doing everything right. Then she can say, okay, it's normal. Hmm. Have you ever have you ever invited a male friend to your home? No. 
Do you think that is okay? Your mom will be cool with that if you invited somebody home? Papa won't be okay. Uh, and now Papa is at home, right? So you can't do that. So we are recording it all. <laughs> this is the worst thing. Okay, don't worry. I'll keep it private. After two days. First two days, you guys, guys will watch, of course. And after that, I'll make it private. And who is going to watch? Because your face is not here anyways. Only they can see my face. That's a good thing, right? But I want a camera to record the whole class, you know, so that, you know, it looks more impressive. Because nowadays there is, you know, you know, this is really true. You know, I mean, we are doing a great job here. Quality English, right? I'm teaching in the most natural way possible. And still not many people know about this class. Because, because I don't have banners, posters outside. Yeah. But you guys will spread the word about this institute. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Shashi, did you talk to someone? Who did you talk to? Do you know any information about him? He's close to his sis. Very good. It's very nice to hear that some boys are close to their Sister. Because traditionally, boys and are not close to their sister. They always try to maintain distance. But now, nowadays, a lot of boys are close to their sister. That's really nice. Okay. His older sister or his younger sister? Older sister? Older sister. Is she married? Not yet. You are going to be sad when she gets married. Because she's a good friend of yours. You're close to her. And when she gets married, she goes away then you are going to be a little sad. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, now, nah, you have to do what is right. Okay. Whether it is, it makes you happy or it makes you sad doesn't matter. You have to do what you have to do. Okay. Let's go to the next page, everybody. <laughs> his future wife. He's close to his future wife. Does he know who she is? Does he know who she is? If he if he knows, then she can be, he can be close. If she doesn't know, if he doesn't know her, how can he be close? In his dream. He saw her. <laughs> oh, if that is how we decide our future wives, then I had at least a thousand future wives, guys. Because I saw a thousand girls in the Mela. Come on. Huh? Come again? One leg. One leg. <laughs> okay, vocabulary and listening. Next. Let me talk to Yashraj a little bit, the new boy. Yashraj, beta, who are you close to in your family? You said your mom, I think. You're close to your sister. Okay, that's interesting. Younger sister, older sister? Older sister. Okay, so uh, why are you close to her? And how do you have similar personalities? This is new generation boy, I told you, you know, he's close to his sister. Things are changing in our society so much. I can see it because when I was young, brothers and sisters were rarely close to each other. You know, they would always try to control their sister. Don't go out. <laughs> okay, Peter, um, why are you close? Do you have similar personalities? Do you do things together? If you want to share some details, yes. You don't have any similarities between you and your sister? Do you have similar hobbies? Do you like the same thing? What are your interests? What are your hobbies? And doesn't she play games? She doesn't play games. Then why are you close to her? How are you close to her? You tell all your secrets to her. Oh, that's interesting. And does she share her secrets with you? She does. And do you also ask her for money? No. Now you're living in a hostel. So do you miss her when you are there? Yeah. Okay. All right, Bita. Now we will move on to vocabulary and listening. But before I go there, I would like to talk to one little kid again. Yes. Sachit, how about you? I think you are very close to your mom. Your mom always says so many good things about you. But I want to know about Shlok. 
who is he close to? He is close to his dad. Is he? They spend time together. They spend time together. They talk to each other. Really? Shlok, do you spend time with your papa? That's nice. Very good. You know, talking to one, one of your family members more is really important. Look, my daughter is close to me. I'm close to her. But I think she spends more time. She talks more to her mother. She was in my sister's house for 10 days. I talked to her only twice for two minutes. That's all. But my wife talked to her every day for half an hour, almost every day, 20 minutes. I, I find it difficult to talk so much with my family members. I don't talk to them a lot. I'm a quiet guy in my family. But when I'm in the mood, then I entertain them so much. But I don't have unnecessary conversation. What did you eat and all that stuff? We only discuss important things. Yeah, my personality is slightly boring, you know. Yes. Okay. Vocabulary and listening. Words that go together. Words that go together. Some words go together. Some words go together. Some boys always come together. They are good friends. So some words are good friends. They're always together. Can you match the words from A and the words from B? Come on. Let's draw lines. Let's match them. Let's match them. You two. You two are close to each other or close to your mom? Close to your mom. And he? He's not close to mom. Who is he close to? Huh, really? He gets on well, well with his brothers. Saim and... Yeah. So the three of them keep doing nonsense things together. Okay. It was your channel, huh? Then? Saim's channel. Okay. I've subscribed to it. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, let's match the words in A and the words in B. Match the words in A with the words in B. Why don't you turn more lights on? There are some switches on the left. The other one? Yes. Yes. Fine. So with book, bookshop, right? Or bookstore. You know, in American English, they say bookstore. Children, in American English, they say? And in British English? Bookshop. Next. Motorbike is very common. Motorbike. Okay. And uh, for the second, let's wait for a little. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Sun, sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses. Chashma, dhup wala chashma. Sunglasses. Okay, next. Living room. Next. Bus stop. Next. Handbag. Very good. Railway station. Very nice. Car park. Next. Traffic lights. Next. Petrol. 
station very good petrol station petrol station right so people say petrol station remember here in india we say petrol pump but that's not correct english yeah it's indian english petrol pump but not english in english they call them petrol station pump is that pipe you know which throws the you know liquid into your bike into your car that is pump okay a pump pump you know what a pump does a pump pulls liquid right so the pump is the machine the area is not pump the area is station petrol station okay so these are noun plus noun combinations we put two words together and make a new noun book itself is a noun shop is another noun they come together and book shop it is a shop which sells yeah this is where you can buy books bookshop you can define it in a different way. You go to this shop if you want to buy books. This is a bookshop. Okay. Uh, motorway. The, the one option that was left. Motorway. Okay. Highway, you know highway. Highway is very wide roads which connect uh, wide, wide roads which connect one city to another city. That road is called highway right in british english they use motorway highway is american english okay and in british english they say motorway those wide roads which connect one city to another city those roads are called motorway outside the city inside the city we have roads they are not called motorway understand that in, inside patna there are lots of roads but they are not called highways Highways are outside the city. Uh, what I wanted to say is this. Bypass. Bypass words. Bypass means pata hai kya? Bina hoe guzarna. Bina. Jesse shahar se aya beach me. So ap shahar mein nahi guse. Shahar ko kya kar gaye? Bypass kar gaye. And if bina shahar mein ghusse, ghusar gaye. Side se. So bypass. So this is an important phase where you practice, you talk to each other, you report to me in small sentences. This is an important phase. You can't bypass this phase. Bypass samajh rana. Kuch loog kehta na, hum isse nahi practice karenge, direct fluent bolenge. Yani iske bagar se ghusar jayenge. No. You have to go through it. Agar bypass na hota, to kya hota? We would go through the city. We would go. Um, yeah. If you want to go into the center of the city, then you don't take the bypass. You go through the city. So bypass. Bypass surgery. Heart surgery. Bypass surgery. Usme hi karte hai. bagal se guzar jate hai. Jahan par blockage hota hai na, usko chhod dete hai. Aise idhar se connect kar dete hai. So it is bypass. Yani ki bina hoi guzar jana. Bypass kar jana. Okay. Um... Suppose I'm your class teacher and there is a principal, okay? And you want to write uh, an application for a leave or something, okay? For holidays. Then you bypass me and you directly write the application to the principal. You bypass me. So I say, why did you bypass me? Why didn't you write uh, the let, you know, application to me first? Through me, okay? I hope you understand. All right. Sometimes we write through X, Y, Z. Okay, through. Um, yes, sare English words actually. Uh, it's another thing. We say that we feel not Bypass, to everybody says. Bypass, mein hai, bypass. Mein hai. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so let's this. This is a room. You spend most of your time here in the day. But you don't sleep here. Living room. It is a room of your house where you spend most of your time, but you don't sleep here. Then it is the living room. Okay. It is uh, a bag which uh, girls carry with them when they go out. Right. Try, try some more. Upload karo, define karni koshish. Define karni koshish karo, just like I was doing. Uh -huh. 
चलो एक पैटर्न दिखा पैटर्न सिखाता हूँ ठीक है पैटर्न सिखाता हूँ सुनो सपोज यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ थिंग असीम यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ थिंग ठीक है तो आप ऐसे बोलो दिस इज वॉट वीमेन कैरी वेन दे गो आउट This is what women carry when they go out. I said, "This is what handbag is a thing." So this is what women carry when they go out. Now listen to this. This is where you buy books. We is for what? Nahi bola maine because I'm talking about a place. A bookshop is a place. So I said, this is where you buy books. Chalo, or try karte. You guys tell me, uh, we want to talk about living room. What will I say? This is where we spend most of our day time. Okay, at home. Right? Yeah, but we don't sleep here. Then people can guess this is okay so let's talk about motorbike kaise try karoge motorbike try and describe this this is what some boys want in dowry <laughs> just kidding to aise bolne par to bahut se jawab aa jayenge dimag mein right i said this is what people want boys want in dowry dowry matlab the age you know this is what boys want in dowry so fir to log kahenge sir a lot of money theek <laughs> hai fortune right to so, aise ye ye clear nahi tha it was not very yeah. clear it was not very to the point it was vague vague matlab idhar bhi ja sakta udhar kuch clear nahi tha not clear ko vague kehte hain beta okay uh okay so let's see huh boys first love is motorbike boys first love is motorbike okay or you could say this is a bike but you don't need to pedal it this is a bike but you don't need to pedal it so dimag mein aa jayega na kya motorbike it is a bike but you don't need to pedal it कुछ लोग कहेंगे सर ईवी सर इलेक्ट्रिक बाइक ये लेट्स ट्राई एंड डिस्क्राइब रेलवे स्टेशन दिस इज वेर आगे बोलो बोलो पीपल गो टू कैच अ ट्रेन दिस इज वेर पीपल गो टू कैच अ ट्रेन Easy. Where do people go to catch a train? Railway station. Easy. Agar ye kar yes, beta. Ah, restaurant. Main restaurant kyun na bolu? Because restaurant also fits your definition. Jab aap aisa definition doge, jisme bahut saare words fit ho jayenge. Sochna chahiye. Isliye ye ek acha practice hai. प्रिसाइज हो पा रहे हैं कि नहीं आपने कहा दिस इज वेर वी मीट लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ पीपल अ पार्क स्टेडियम बीच मेला ओके सो ऑल दीज आंसर आर करेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट डेफिनेशन राइट सो ट्राई टू बी प्रिसाइज प्रिसाइज मीन्स एग्जैक्ट ट्राई टू बी प्रिसाइज ट्राई टू बी एग्जैक्ट हाँ गो है टू द पॉइंट कार पार्क डिस्क्राइब इट दिस इज अ प्लेस वेर वी पार्क आवर ये एंड पे सम मनी राइट कार पार्क पेट्रोल स्टेशन लेट्स डिस्क्राइब दिस This is a place where this is a place where we we go when we don't have petrol in our bikes in our cars right this is where we buy petrol 
this is where we buy. But if somebody is from a village, they will say, Sir, I will get a bit of milk. Okay. Next. Traffic lights. The lights which tell you to stop and go. Right? The lights which tell you to stop and go on the road. These are lights which tell you when to stop and when to go. They are traffic lights. Okay. Next. Sunglasses. Let's describe them. You wear them. You wear them. Them make you wear a bit of sunglasses is not a singular noun. So it's the neighbor. It's singular, right? Them plural. You wear them to protect your eyes from yeah, sunlight. Okay, sun rays in summer, especially sunglasses. Some boys wear them just to look cool. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Exercise three. 5.14. 5.14. I'm sharing this with you in the group. I'm putting this audio file in the group, everyone. Sab log itna interest rakhe English mein ki ek dusre ka tense sentence padne mein maza hai. आप लोग एक फैमिली के तौर पे इसने क्या लिखा जानना है क्या लिखा उसने सही लिखा थोड़ा उलट पलट है वो भी सही कर दें अगर 100% पता हो तो ये उद्देश्य ना पढ़े कि सही है कि गलत है पढ़े समझने के लिए सर कि दैट पर्सन हैज रिटन समथिंग कुछ गलत दिख जाए देन करेक्ट ओके या ऑलराइट लेट्स प्ले 5.14 एवरीबॉडी जस्ट वंस हियर एंड यू विल लिसन टू इट एट होम मेनली Is there a post office near? Playing from desktop 05 Evo J8C. Noun plus noun. One. Excuse me, is there a post office near here? Yes. Can you see the bus stop over there? Yes, I can. Well, it's next to the bus stop near the traffic lights. Thanks. Two. I can't find my sunglasses. Not again. Look in your handbag. Where's my handbag? It's in the living room. Oh, yes, there it is. And there they are. Three. Excuse me, is there a petrol station near here? A petrol station? Yeah. Go past the railway station and the car park. It's just before the motorway. That's very kind. Thank you. Okay, so please listen to the three conversations and write down the audio script. It's Sunday tomorrow. So there will be a little bit extra homework in the practice book as well. Open your practice books, everyone. Very interesting. Page number 30, everyone. Page number 30. Page number 30. In the practice book. I'm putting this in the group. Take a look at the exercises. When I was a child, Jamme Bachata. When I was a child. So, guys, please understand what the homework is. I'm going to share an audio file. Listen, there are two people there, Pete and Olivia. 
they are talking about their childhood. Listen to them and do all the exercises. One, two, and three. There are three parts. So that will be your homework for Monday. Uh, mainly, this is your main homework, okay? Forget about that homework in the main book, okay? Mainly do this homework. Three people, they're talking about their, sorry, two people are talking about their childhood. So listen to them and do all the exercises. One, two, three. Page number 30. Page number 30. Go to page number 30, bitta. Okay, yep. Fine then. Let's, let's end the class now. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.